So today we're going to look at how to figure out if two fractions are equivalent. So in the first case I have 20 twenty fourths and 5 sixths. The first thing you can do is cross multiply. Multiply the numerator of one times the denominator of the other. Multiply the denominator of one times the numerator of the other. So we're going to multiply in this pattern. Okay. So 20 times 6 and 24 times 5, they're both 120. So if the products are the same, the fractions are equivalent. Since 20 times 6 and 24 times 5 both equal 120, these are equivalent fractions. Let's look down here. It can do the same thing. Multiply the numerator by the denominator, the denominator by the numerator. 20 times um, 4 is 80, but 24 times 3 is 72. They're not the same, so those fractions are not equivalent. Okay, so that's using cross multiplication. It's a pretty easy way to do it. I'm going to show you another way, and it's called dividing. Okay, dividing to get a decimal because all a fraction is is a division problem, but when I have a smaller numerator than my denominator, the answer is going to be less than one. It's going to be a decimal. Okay, so six, I'm going to start with um, this four fifths, okay? Four fifths is four divided by five. Okay, the top number goes inside the house, the bottom number goes outside. So four divided by five. Well, five doesn't go into four. So I have to put a zero there and put a decimal. Okay, so my decimal then goes on top of the house too because that's to be my answer. Five doesn't go into four, but five goes into forty eight times. And since I bring that decimal up, that's eight tenths or zero point eight. Eight times five is forty, subtracted zero. So I don't have to add any more numbers down there. The decimal is just eight tenths or zero point eight. Now I'm going to do the same thing with 16 twentieths. 16 divided by 20. Now 20 doesn't go into 16, but I put my decimal point and my zero there. Since I put my decimal point in here, I have to move it straight up because it's going to be my answer. 20 goes into 160 eight times. Okay, but it has to be on the right hand side of my decimal because 160. To make that, I have to put my decimal in there before I put that zero there. So 8 times 20 is 160. 160 minus 160 equals zero. Now, if the quotients or the decimals, remember a quotient is the answer to a division problem. Okay, in this case, since the numerator is less than the denominator, they're going to be in decimal form that's less than 1. Okay, it's 0 0.8, 8 tenths. Since they are the same, these fractions are equivalent. If my answer in decimal form would have been different, they would not be equivalent fractions.